Welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. This is my little 10-minute window to the rest of the world. And today is an average Sunday. I'm doing some editing. And I'm just working on the co-pilot. Gathering some spare parts. This is going to be the robot co-pilot that I have for my car. I don't have a name for them yet. But I do have a plan. I've made a couple of strides in the right direction. These are going to be the eyeballs. And basically emergency lights and I found that those fit in perfectly. They're not even screwed in or anything, they're just snapped into place, which is cool because I can actually take them out and replace them in batteries if need be. At the bottom of the head, I'm trying to make it as lightweight as possible because I have a new neck feature that was going to be on the nurse robot, but taking it off the nurse robot to put it in my co-pilot robot because I'm not really ready for the nurse robot yet. I am ready, however, for a co-pilot. These are going to go to So far, I have a new plan. One of the things that kept me from doing this co-pilot robot is I didn't know which neck system I had. I have two of them. I have one of it's posable and fully adjustable, but it doesn't move. And I had a freestanding one that can be worked on command, have the jaw, but um, I found a way of combining the two. So it's gonna be like the best of both worlds. I just have to take this apart a little bit more, make this a little bit more workable. So I'm going to do that right now. This is going to be in the same style, same vein as the refrigerator robot. This guy is going to be a fridge, the thermometer, a cup holder hand, and, and the nightlight eyes. The eyes have to light up or it's just not a robot of mine. It's going to be all of that in one robot. Basically, it's a fancy elevated tray for the mini fridge. Absolutely the coolest refrigerator. And this is our newest addition to Andy Land. And the maid robot. And you're gonna have a counterpart, Darcy. Now that we're talking, I'm over the moon. <laughs> you look like you're from the moon. Okay, this is the sound center right here. Okay. And that's the speaker. <laughs> you got the red going on. We're getting our eyeball, our glowing eyeball attached to here. Oh my god, this is looking funnier and funnier, Ken. This is cool looking, man. Hey, Google, how you feeling today? Feeling pretty good. Thanks for asking. She's just looking at us going, what the hell are you guys doing? That I have created so far. Ask me why do I make these things into robots? And honestly, I, sometimes I really wish I had a good answer, but I don't. It's my life. If I don't want to spend it with my robots, let me. I'm living in a freaking fantasy world of robots. Ow, I'm actually gonna butt ADD a moment right there. <clears throat> if I'm actually gonna keep this stationary steady, I can lock that into place. And even keep it detachable. Let's see what he's gonna do here. Oh yeah, it's time to do something stupid. Alright. 
upon further inspection, these are not Phillips head. They're the triangle shaped head screws. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I might just have to cut it. There's still another board inside there. Once I get these circuitry and lights out of here, I'm gonna install those circuitry and lights inside it. More of a simple, rudimentary way because I don't wanna hardwire any of this because I wanna be able to change batteries if I need to. Ooh. Those are the IKEA screws, you don't really need them. See, like this will just pop right off. Yes, that's gonna work. I figured it out. I literally had that on backwards. All right, now, the trickiest part of this whole thing is to fix this part. I don't have a good way of doing that yet, but I will. Those metal sheets that I got from the trash. Wait a minute. I'm not sure the metal sheet is gonna work, so I'm gonna try heavy duty plastic, which is what the connector joints are made of already. So maybe screwing metal into plastic wouldn't have been a good idea anyways. Well, we'll see if this works. Okay, it seems like I am, after all, gonna go with the metal as opposed to the plastic. It just fits better, and of course it's stronger, it's metal. So let's slide this in, neck plate into place, which I just realized you can't see what I'm doing. So that is now a thing. I just gave it a test run fitting inside the car and I kind of panicked a little bit because it was a little wonky. And I'm like, what the hell just happened? But the thing is, it didn't have his metal plate in his head to support it. So that's why it was kind of herky jerky. The metal plate, I'm gonna put that in, secure it in this time because I'm actually gonna go with this. So we both have a metal plate in our head. All right, and this is looking a little bit better than I thought. It's much more beefier. This is now the chest and the neck is here and the arm and sack is up here. This is gonna work out just fine. We got the brain in. We have to fully install it, but it sounds good. It's gonna be a Bluetooth connection to the Waze program so it can navigate traffic and hazards ahead, police reports and all that kind of stuff. All right, this is the co-pilot. Inaugural voyage here. Hold the navigation. Nice. That's really cool. Ooh. Set navigation. So you can talk with me. Whenever you're ready, I'll see if it's ready to talk or not. We're actually going to head out and get more spare parts. I'm going to see if I can find some connectors at the shoulders. A nail bracket down here for the power source rack. I'm going to have to reconfigure the antenna, I think, because this is not going to work. Over here. Over here. Over here. She's ignoring me. The antenna's keeping it from turning to me. And some source lights for the eyeballs. And roll. Communicating with the car right now. Okay, we're here. I'm gonna power you down. Alright, we're off. Okay, I couldn't find any lights, but I did find some tape for the uh, interior. Good. Alright, time to sink it. Navigate home. Right now, that's all I have time for in this episode of Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. Um, my co-pilot still doesn't have a name or binary system of stability or anything such like that, but it's coming. Good night. Okay. We got a beta version here of my co-pilot. <laughs>